He's a very physical presence inside, and he's a savvy veteran, too. You're talking about he's on the team right now with one of the youngest teams, well, the youngest team in the NBA. SGA was able to draw Jokic way out on the perimeter, got that three-point shot up over the outstretched arm. As Porter Jr. never afraid to shoot, and he's going to get fouled on the three-point shot by Dort. And this is what Denver likes to do. This is a team that's talking about NBA championship, right? Well, so much of this preseason in the games for Mark Dagnall as Giddy's runner is going to come up short. It's just been about getting ready for the regular season. Score not quite having the, the importance as that three is off the mark. As Roby's got a look straight away at the three with Maladone in the game, but it's Porter with the rebound as he will start the break for Denver. But it's Porter with the rebound as he will start the break for Denver. And the Thunder take it away. Baisley starting the break, fires it inside. Roby went it for the slam. It's a lot of fun to be out there with a dynamic guard like him. Uh, it's a little different than watching a guy, watching him on TV, being out there, having to defend him, having to try to stay in front of him. As we can see, he can blow by anybody. Porter Jr. lets another three fly, and that's going to be an offensive foul as he kicked out Darius Baisley. Porter Jr. lets another three fly, and that's going to be an offensive foul as he kicked out Darius Baisley. You, you, show, you, you, you sold me snowshoes last summer in July. Come on, Fish. What am I going to do with snowshoes? Because you sold it to me. You're, a good, you're just a good marketing guy. Strong offensive players have gotten in manipulating the rules as Poku's runner with the left hand is off. And Strong offensive players have gotten in manipulating the rules as Poku's runner with the left hand is off. Denver's got some time to work with, but Porter Jr.'s pass sails out of bounds. I'm going to say something. The ball goes on the other end like a tennis pass. This pace has really picked up. Roby again into the body and a foul. You know, he's one of those guys who can run the offense for them. He can score. His numbers continue to rise. And he's a nice piece to help out. Especially on nights when you need scoring. Jokic is still one of those guys who can get it going and score points in bunches. Denver's certainly going to miss Jamal Murray, who suffered that ACL injury October 12th. As the Thunder will play the same Nugget team at the BOK Center in Tulsa. Looking forward to that as Michael Porter Jr. gets all the way to the bucket. Something so remarkable, even with his back to the basket. Tough shot with the shot clock expiring. I don't know if it hit the rim out of the hands of Morris. Mark Dagnall looking for a 24-second violation. Michael at over 60%. Well, he used to make me mad at when he was playing in Utah, and he would make that shot all the time. I go, dude, are you ever going to miss that shot? Now I'm going, okay, I love that shot. But the shot clock is off. Favors stepping out behind the line as that one is well off. And Gordon went up for that one-handed hammer but missed the opportunity. Denver stays with it, and it actually to have a great feel and be able to take care of the basketball and make good decisions with it. There is a good decision by Lou Dort powering down the lane, and let's check in with Nick, who's got more on Gideon. Here comes Denver. Jokic, Porter Jr. on the bench, as is Aaron Gordon. There's Dozier with the drive, left hand, and he got the bounce. Pass there by Giddy got deflected. Up court, Morris, two on one. Porter Jr. underneath, and he missed the turnaround slam. Well, the rim blocked it. I, I watched that. As he's got himself another three, something that he's been doing over the course of this preseason, knocking him down from the outside, playing with confidence. He was dribbling. So Porter to the baseline, pulls up. No, Jokic tried to 